In this night exploration, we're venturing inside an abandoned high school that's been closed for only a couple of years. Due to declining enrollment, the district decided to merge schools as a plan to consolidate and modernize. We discovered that not only was the power still on, but almost everything was left behind, including a Cold War era bomb shelter in the basement filled with survival supplies. Join us as we take a look inside this deserted school. Thanks to Harry's for sponsoring a portion of this video. Harry's is a men's personal care brand with an online store that offers a no frills experience in getting great quality shave products that you can have confidence in at a great price. And Harry's is constantly trying to improve more with their brand new blades that are even sharper and offer a cleaner shave at the same low price of $2 each. Harry sent me these new blades and I was thoroughly impressed with their previous blades, but these new ones are a cut above. Harry supports great causes as well. They give 1% of every sale to organizations that promote better mental health for men and veterans. And to help support those who need it most right now, Harry's is donating $1 million worth of shaving supplies to hospitals across the US. In addition to shave products, Harry's also offers a full line of shower products from shampoo, face wash, lotions, and body wash. They sent me one of every body wash scent. It lathers nicely and smells great. My favorite being the fig. The razor is only $9 and blades are at just $2 a piece. However, if you go to harrys.com slash proper people, you can get a trial set for just $3. The theater's in here. Yeah, the switchboard for all the lights is still on. I think the Yeah. <laughs> I can't mess with the speakers, right? Why? Can't make a shit ton of noise. Uh, or can we? Uh, Here, I wanna mess with this. Tell me if you see anything happen out there, ready? Oh shit, you guys already found the theater. Do you see lights like, right now? Yeah. Holy shit, that's the lights right there. Film this over there. I'm filming this, is crazy. windows to the front. Oh, it's a setup. Oh, it's a setup. Alright. We should try to find the security room and see if the cameras are still rolling. Oh yeah, we could. Be careful here though, because this is the front of the school that faces the street. We should probably go back the other way. No, this is the courtyard. Oh, it's right? a courtyard? Yeah. Okay. Even the trophy case lights are still going. Yeah, they took all the trophies though. Yeah. It's a gym. There's basketball. Wow. Should we play? It's a lot more trashed than the video we saw of it. Yeah. Locker rooms are probably back here. This is a pretty nice high school. Are the clocks still going? The clocks are not still going. It's crazy this was abandoned. Like what could have possibly been wrong with this school that they had to abandon it? This is honestly kind of nostalgic because although it's not the first Abandoned high school we've explored. It's the first band high school that's like similar, like reminding me yeah. of our high school. This is more similar to my middle school. But, um, 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever even been inside a high school since I was in high school. Have you? That's towards the front, I think, yeah. the place. It goes down here, just a staircase. Yeah, I can only go to the second floor here. The There's also room. a basement. I want to get to the projector room. We haven't found the pool, because that's got to be a Oh, I saw the pool when we first walked in, when we were... It's that before way. Before we got set up. It's back there where we came in at. You want to head over there? Yeah. Yeah, sure. And I feel like that area is safer, because it's more towards the back. It's this pool this way. I definitely saw it down where we came in at. Although we hooked... It was all the way in that back corner. It might be over there. No, I, I saw it. I okay. really saw it when we came in there. It's probably locked. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably where the cameras are too. Maybe. This is not good. The pool is down here. Classrooms don't have a lot in them. Big room though. Yeah. It was a big school, that's for sure. There's a ton of flags because every classroom had a flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, are we near a band room? Probably. Look at all this. Oh look, there's a bunch of musical yeah. violins in here. We must or be near just the violin band room. cases. These are all empty. Oh there's one right here. The strings are all messed up. Oh, geez. Yeah. There's still some switches here, too. Like network switches? They're not on, though. But yeah. Yeah. This was a band room, though. The TV. Should we try to Did you try a light one? switch in here yet? No, I didn't. I'm going to try one. It'll turn on. It's already set to on, actually. Is this, room one, is this room 126? Uh, I don't know why. Because the breaker is off at 126. And this is 129. The breaker's off for this whole area. Yeah. This is the pool. This, they have like the same, like, oh, more gym equipment. They have the same gym gate as like our high school did. Yeah. They, have the gate? they lock you in here. Yeah. So you can't skip class. Seems like a fire yeah. hazard. Yeah, that's what our school did. What the heck? Okay, this is cool. We're actually, the pool is in the basement. This is just an observation area for the pool. Oh my god. This is a big pool room. Mm hmm. This is a big pool. Yeah. Wow. There's probably all kinds of stuff in the basement here, like a full basement. The bricks in the wall here are sound deadening too. Got these holes in them. The echo in here would probably be insane if it wasn't for that. Of course, people were busy throwing crap at the bottom of the pool. Come back here in another year and the whole pool will probably be full of shit from around the school. I want to head down to the basement so we can see the pool at pool level. Plus, we're pretty safe from being spotted in the basement, so we should probably do that next. So you want to do basement and then go up? Yes. Okay, let's do that. Oh, if this opens. Okay. A basement is definitely not something our high school had. I'm curious if there were any classrooms down here, or if it was all just maintenance. This looks like a hallway that could have classrooms. Yeah, it does. No way. What? Working network equipment? A switch is on. A switch. So there could be internet here somewhere. There could be. There's no activity on the lines, but mm. like, that is a server fan going. There's computers back here too. See if you can plug them in. Yeah, if we could boot these computers up, that would be pretty sick. I mean, we wouldn't be able to log in, but. 
Do you even see a power strip? There's an outlet down here, but it's like kind of janky looking. Hmm. Nothing is connected with these computers, so you'd have to plug everything in and find outlets for everything. I only see one outlet over here, so we'll leave these alone. This is where the kids would have been gated off from the maintenance area. Oh yeah, ROTC. Yeah. Yeah, ROTC room. They shove them in the basement. <laughs> Cadet of the month, they took their photos down. This room's really bright. Some desks in here. Join the junior ROTC. Oh, one channel off from sixty nine. <laughs> No, there it is. <laughs> Cable's not even plugged in, that's why. Mm. Should we go that far? No. Just leave it on like that, and then turn off the lights to this room. Should we? Can you hit the lights? It's spooky. Spooky Very in awesome. here. Think centers. There's more in here. Does this room even have power? Probably. It's a light switch right there. It's already set to on, I think. Oh, no. That's fine. We need peripherals. Did you see any peripherals? What if there's like student, student? Student, student. Yeah, those are the passwords right, at our so. school. That one's a bad one. These are no good. No, that one's good. That one, that one's bad. How do you know? Because the fan's spinning at full speed constantly. Fucking blew up the whole computer lab. This is fun. <laughs> uh, no, we don't have the passwords. It's just not gonna work. Well, no, even if we didn't have passwords, you need a domain. Unless you have a local password, which we don't. Saving power, helping them out. What's that? Cafeteria. Oh, cool. Let's check that out. Somebody set off all those fire extinguishers. Yeah. It's all the fire extinguisher dust. Yeah. It's so white in here. Cardboard lunch trays. 
Someone smashed the glass on the ovens. Oh, the fridges are here. No power to the fridge. That was from in here, right? I don't know, this just looks like, this is the bathroom. And a locker room, this is for the employee locker. Yeah, where did that beat come from though? Oh, I used to smoke detector or something, I don't know. There's a utility down here. I don't know. Oh, I hear it. It sounds like right here. Wait for it. Wait. There's Ooh, a bunch of them. There's different moving, ones. Yeah. It's probably just something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Hold on. Relay board trouble. Okay, so the alarm doesn't work. Yeah, abandoned alarms always say trouble on them. Um, do Let's go want... down to the left here. The boiler room. It's still going. It's fucking hot in here. Nice change. Remember when I said I wonder if they'll have heat on and you said no? Yeah. Because right. they can't even heat their active schools. But they can yeah. heat their but they can heat their abandoned school. Don't touch anything. Oh yeah. Wow. That might be what's creating all the heat. Yeah. I don't think these are on. They would be a much noisier. That's definitely a motion sensor. Stay still. It's off. Now move. It's not a very sensitive motion sensor. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, let's just get That's cool. This is like a full padded room. Wrestling. Wrestling, yeah. Yeah. That's a big banner on the floor. Holy crap. That's somebody's ear. <laughs> Oh shit. The whole floor is a giant banner upside down. Right. Looks like something that would hang on the side of a building. It's probably a billboard. Yeah. Oh look. We got a um, yearbook. see that pool in a second that's an indoor track what yeah where the fuck is that at? and the gymnasium we saw did not have this tile wall what year is this from 99 all right let's Maybe keep going some more oh, yeah yeah No, we'll just keep finding, we'll find another way. There's got to be a more main entrance to the pool. Oh, right here. There's a staircase. That's going to go up for something, right? Where does this go? 
That goes down? Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, that could be the boiler room, because there was a staircase. This might the be the boiler, boiler room. Yeah, let's go see, huh? Okay. Yeah. This could be pumps for the pool. It is. It's pool filters. Yeah. It's all pool stuff. Yeah. The pool, this is the pool right here. Yep. Can you go all the way around the pool? I think so. To access all the pipes. Oh, are those Department of Civil Defense barrels? Yeah. I think they are. Oh, shit. They are. This was the fallout shelter this part. This is the fallout shelter. Survival supplies. I have not seen one of these barrels in this perfect condition. So, wait, why in, would they, like, why would they ever. put these down here? It's a fallout shelter. Fallout shelter. So, in case, like, this something happens, all the kids come down here? Yeah. Or the neighborhood, I mean, This yeah. must have been built during the Cold War. And they were worried about nuclear attacks. These are all empty. Maybe they're just from another area and they just stored them in here? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I remember we saw one of these barrels that was like the mostly destroyed in the Cincinnati subway. We were excited about that. Here's like 500 the of them. What did they keep in them? Just clean water. potable water. water. It just loops around the pool. There's nothing else back here. Cracker. Survival all purpose. Holy shit. What is in here? It's like tins. They're full. They're fucking full. We need to open one of these. Food? Oh, shit. Crackers and survival tools. Survival supplies. Biscuits. Department of the Civil Defense. Survival, survival crackers. crackers. Holy shit, are we gonna eat one? We have to. April 1963. Oh my 89. Hacking. 89 crackers. So, how does this work? You just. Minimum 1,015 crackers. How does this work? You might need to pry it with something. Which one? Oh, this one's open. Is oh. it? Yeah. Is it crackers? Take a cracker out. It looks like they use a knife to get it. Well, these are going to be stale because the seal is broken, obviously. They're like graham crackers. Oh my god, they're moldy. Oh well, yeah, these are no good anymore. There's some more right there. Well, I think they probably could have used other areas of the school. They just stored it all uh, in here. 1963 crackers. Wow. These crackers also? Yep. Imagine just living on water and crackers for God knows how long. They probably would have kept other stuff in here too. This is just all that's left abandoned. There's literally hundreds of these. This is a sanitation kit. Toilet tissue, can opener, Liner, napkins. Can opener. Yeah, this had a can opener in it. That's cool. We're only going to be able to see a fraction of this place tonight. It won't really but most of the rooms seem empty, so we're just trying to see the major school highlights, like the auditorium and whatever else. These are science rooms, and they have projectors in them. Really? But they're facing right out front. Yeah, just lay low here. I hear more server noises. Oh, I remember these things. More switches are on in here. The counting things, oh, teaching how to count. Hundreds, thousands, yeah. tens, yeah. Here they are. How many? Uh, and there's more back there blinking too. Yeah, there's like a, quite a bit of networking. Uh, yeah. Are those beakers or flasks? We always get yelled at for calling them wrong. I don't, I don't know. Part of my best here. No activity on any of these, but this one has activity. 
Let me check the lens on it. This one too. Like these could be cameras. But probably not. Yeah. They might have closed the other floors. Yeah. There's another floor up above us too. These were closed before the school closed. It had to have been. Yeah, everything's like stacked and shit. Yeah, they stopped using the upper floors. Oh, I think this could be auditorium. Yep. Bingo. Oh no, it's not gonna open, is it? Another projector board thing. Portable one though. This is a cool lab, but I don't want to turn a light on in here. Yeah. Don't turn a light it's on in here. Octagonal yeah. workstation desk areas. Yeah. It's cool. Is that you beeping? There's no lights in this all way. It's dark and spooky down here. There's just the green light from the exit sign. This should be a pretty good overview. Is this the courtyard? Yeah. It's a big place. Is that a greenhouse on the roof? Where? There's a greenhouse on the roof right there. What the fuck? Oh yeah. How the hell do you get over there? Had a carton on their roof. I think we finally found the stairwell that's gonna take us to the part of the auditorium that we've been trying to get to. Yeah, this has to be it. There we go. And there she is. There she is. Nice. And there's the control booth. Book storage. Do you know how much money in books there is? I'm going up here. Oh, there's nothing left up here. Yeah, this is all empty. This is probably where they would have had the old film projectors that they didn't use for a while. Oh, spotlights too. Stage left and stage right. After seeing the auditorium from the balcony level and it being the middle of the night, we decided it was time to head out. Currently there are no concrete plans for reuse of the building, however there's talks of using it for recreation space, converting it to residential, or even for use by another educational institution.